Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. I kind of want to talk about something I touched on yesterday. And uh, it's not really to do with Amaranth, but it's actually a part to do with the situation. Um, you know, I just see some comments on the video. It's not really, it didn't really get a lot of views. But, uh, you know, most of my views come from the chili content, which that's okay. Um, we like we like watching that train wreck. And that's okay. I hope you guys that do watch this, I hope you kind of get something out of it. Because... Um, honestly, it is a problem. It is a problem that a lot of people deal with on a daily basis. And, um, it kind of follows them for the rest of their lives. Or if you're a person committing the abuse or being completely jealous and you just carry that along with you, um, it's not good for you with any type of relationship, rather be your friends, family, or significant others. Um, it's not, not really fun. Now, I remember, you know, back when I was a teenager, and, you know, I used to get jealous because my girlfriend or something was talking to the guy or the girl that I like was talking to another guy. And I was so jealous. I'm like, oh, man, I hate that guy because he's talking to the girl I like or this and that. You know, I just never really cared, honestly. Like, well, after the fact, you know, it took me a couple of years to get out of that. Some people, it just stays with them. And I do know a lot of people who are like that, sadly, you know, grown ass men. Uh, and grown ass women, they're just like that. It's just, it's just weird and it's pretty toxic. But, you know, it's, it's, it's sad to see it, you know, especially what we saw with Amaranth. Um, you know, I don't know what you guys think about her, and, you know, I don't really care about that. But, you know, it kind of shows that it's not just you and I that has these problems. This is, this can be anybody. It doesn't matter what, you know, if you're super rich or super poor, it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, whenever my, you know, let's take my parents, for example. Um, you know, my dad, uh, and I, you know, I hate to talk shit about my dad, but sometimes I have to. My uh, dad, he has that kind of trait, my real dad, okay? He's kind of had those traits where he's jealous and uh, very abusive, uh, especially especially back in the day, especially when he drinks. And, you know, I'm not ashamed to say that because you know, I've lived with it my entire life. And, you know, I have had friends that are like that. Um, their relationships ended because of jealousy. And I never could see, like, you know, I could never understand that behavior. I never could really grasp it. Um, you know, some people would ask me, it's like, hey, why would you let your girlfriend talk to this guy? I don't really care. It's called trust. Trust is uh, very important in any type of relationship. Trust is really important. If you don't trust somebody you're with, then what's the point of being in the relationship to begin with? You know, I understand there are some petty things like, um, you know, you, maybe you think you're not getting enough attention, and that does happen. Some people that don't get enough attention, some people do seek attention elsewhere. Um, and you see that and a lot of things, um, and sometimes that does lead to cheating, um, which sucks. It is a, it's, but it's a reality. It's, a, it's a reality. If you're not getting the attention you need at home, you're going to try to find that attention somewhere else. That's just human nature. Um, it does hurt the trust in the bot, you know, in the bottom line. It does hurt trust, and that is why some people do have trust issues and uh, become jealous. Uh, but some people they're just jealous for no fucking reason um and like i said i know people like that i see people doing that their whole lives and you know i was guilty of it i'm sure you was guilty of it um we're all human but um you know once the jealousy gets to uh you know really bad it becomes typically abusive um and like i said i'm not a professional mental health specialist or a relationship counselor i'm just not but I have seen enough to know what it's like. But um, it, it, it sucks because some people watch in the background. Let's take, for instance, you have children and, you know, you, you and your, your parents are always arguing. Your dad is abusive. Your mom's abusive. It's a toxic situation. And a lot of it could either be stemmed from jealousy and a lot of it is jealousy um and like i said it could be a number of things but it never really works out and the parents usually for the most part gets divorced and you know 
that's pretty much one of the reasons why the divorce rate is so high um, right now. I mean, just because abuse, mainly abuse, and that does stem with jealousy, which is a form of abuse. Um, you know, what I'm going to say here is that what I would recommend, this is what I would recommend for anybody. Um, you know, if you're going through something like this, if you want to fix these things, you have to talk about them. Um, it's not easy to sit down with your partner or friend and be like, hey, this is obviously an issue. Um, you know, I, I would have the same problem. You know, I'm not really good at practicing what I preach because, you know, I can give the advice, but I'm not good at taking my own advice. And, you know, a lot of us are like that. I, I just happen to admit that, hey, I am sometimes don't <laughs> listen to my own advice. Um, but, you know, if you're somebody that's dealing with, you know, verbal abuse, mental abuse, physical abuse, um, most of the time, uh, you know, you can talk these things out. You can get counseling. Um, but sometimes you have to end it. Like, it, it, no matter how much you've invested in a relationship, um, usually it's not worth that. Uh, it's not worth the abuse to constantly be drug into something like this um you know uh you know you the, the jealousy can cause things you know, again like people will accuse you of cheating once you get the abuse you carry it into other relationships and i'm guilty of this i'm guilty of carrying things into my relationships like i you know, was in relationships that I was pretty much abused. And I'm not going to lie, it's true. And a lot of people could tell you um, that know me, and this isn't me being, uh, well, it was me, but a lot of people that know me and seen me going through this, so they could tell you that, hey, you got a fucking abused, like mentally and physically. Um, it's just true. It's what it is. Um, and, you know, in my my experience, I tried to make things work and because I'm very forgiving of people. I'm very forgiving. Uh, a girl that I dated uh, for about a year, she cheated on me three times. Three times. I let it happen three times. Now, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot for letting it happen three times. It should have stopped at one, but, you know, uh, as what I am, I'm a big nerd, big guy. I don't really get the girls, except I am lucky because I have one of the best girls on the planet. Um, Mrs. Bits, but you know, I tried to make it work, tried to make it stay because, like, hey, sometimes you have financial issues you have to take care of because once you move in with somebody, you know, and you're splitting bills, and you have to buy groceries, you have to pay for everything, the stay afloat, stay keeping rent. You you try to make these things stay, so you end up becoming a prisoner of your own home and your own. Uh, I mean, pretty much relationship, you become a prisoner. It's no longer fun anymore. And, you know, I had, that's a lot of my problems is, you know, I kind of feel like I have PTSD and I'm sure some of, some other people has too. Um, just, and that's how I carry it into other relationships. Like I sometimes don't open myself up for the most part. Miss um, Biss will tell you I'm not very good at opening up. Uh, and when I do, uh, you know, I break down. And I don't like it. I don't like to do that. I hate to break down. Um, I hold a lot of things in. And, and, you know, it's normal. A lot of people do that. Some people bottle things up until it explodes. But here's my thing. And I'm sorry I'm talking in circles. And there's probably no logical point here. Because uh, I'm not very good at <laughs> getting my words out uh, most of the time. But... You know, if you're going through something like this, let's just say if you're married, uh, you have a friend uh, or family member that's using you in different ways. Let's just say financially, um, you know, being uh, shit stuck in a home together, uh, just being physically abusive. And, you know, you can have people abusive whenever they drink or take meds, um, which is scary because that kind of heightens whenever you use some type of um, uh, abusive drug or alcohol. Like, it kind of heightens the situation and make things a little bit worse um, in pretty much every any way you can think of, which sucks. But here I am to tell you, and I, I hope you stay with me long enough. I'm sure, like I'm, like I said, I'm sure I walked in circles. But this, I'm, I'm kind of nervous about talking stuff like that because I... 
And I'm kind of insecure about things. And this is one of those things I have insecurity about. But, you know, if you're dealing with this, if you're going through um, abuse, no matter what it is, best thing to do is seek help. Rather at being, you know, the law, family, friends, a doctor, reach out to somebody that's not going to turn around and do the same things to you. Reach out to people, talk about these things, try to maybe if you can work things out with your partner or your family or friends, try to do it. Say, hey, this is actually a problem. Um, why are we doing this? The worst thing you want to do is carry on the behavior and just take it further and further to the point where there is no getting out until you're stuck. And the only way out of it is, well, divorce. Divorce or just running away. Some people commit suicide. Some people drown their sorrows with alcohol and pills. It's just, or even harder drugs. I mean, you don't want to do that. Obviously, I'm. Mean, you guys are good people. And I'm not saying that all bad people do drugs and alcohol because, you know, I've done direct, well, marijuana, I guess, and edibles, I guess that counts, or my, my psych meds or whenever I try to down a whole bottle of meds to that, you know, you, you don't want to do that. Don't, don't do that. But yeah, seek help guys. Just seek help. Don't, don't let the abuse continue. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. And, you know, I kind of think, Amaranth did a good thing by showing, you know, this is a reality for some people. And she just happens to be one of the biggest streamers on the planet. And she's shown that, hey, human shit happens to her too. And I guess that's, I guess that's the point I'm trying to make is fix it or get out. Do something. Just get away from it. Um, you're worth more than that. And some people are not worth a dime. Um, but all people at least get to have some kind of chance, um, to be happy. Um, as long as it's not taking advantage of people and making other people miserable, um, you know, you shouldn't, you should try to do everything you can to find your happy spot, find the person that you, you know, share great things with that are not going to, constantly berate you and make you feel terrible just don't do it and I, again sorry but if i talked in circles because it's like i said it's kind of hard for me to talk things like this because um yeah that sucks guys thank you so much for watching i definitely appreciate it and i'll see you soon